Hey guys, this is Mindy Beck with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here, do an energy check, and see what's going on. Remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you would like a personal read, the details are in my description box for my channel. You can also email me at aceofcups here at yahoo.com. So let's see what is going on. <clears throat> so we have I see dead people. Ooh. <laughs> I've been cheated by you since I don't know when in the reverse. Mm, and I will not be intimidated in the reverse. So uh, you may have some sort of special gifts, talents. Um, you could have one of the Claire's here. Um, you could be like a medium or psychic. Um, you could see things like visions. Um, you could communicate with dead people. Um, there's someone who here who may have cheated on you in the past and um they could have tried to use intimidation tactics against you but you could have had some sort of vision or gift of sight and so you could have seen something that they were up to or you could have noticed that they were trying to be intimidating to you <clears throat> or use some sort of fear tactics um, this person could be a control freak as well Maybe they didn't like your gifts. As long as there are tests, there will be prayer in school. So you may be tested if this person, yep, I was going to say, if this person comes back to you, the past is knocking. There's going to be a test. This person is going to come back <clears throat> into your energy, possibly show up. You're going to be tested. Did you learn your karmic lessons? Are you going to repeat the same cycle or are you going to let this person go? That is the energy. Oh, you got to love it when those past people show back up, right? Wide. Your future is wide open. Something, you know, you could have options. You could have multiple options. <clears throat> your future is wide open. You have open opportunities. Push your buttons intentionally in the reverse. So this person from your past loved to push your buttons, control you. Use mind manipulation a lot. Bullying is never fun. It's a cruel and terrible thing. You know this person is a bully. So you may not be interested in allowing them back in your energy. And you really shouldn't. Um, this fall on the floor sideways reveal. Something is going to be revealed to you. Whether this is in a message, dream state, um, vision. Or something is going to be revealed in a message. Um, regarding this person or about your situation, pay attention to your dreams, determination. It could be being revealed to this person that you're determined to be on your own. Pisces could be significant. You're determined to make it. You don't need someone in your energy bullying you, trying to push you around or control you. You have control over yourself and over your life. You're not... You're not being ruled by negative spirits like this person could be. You've gone through a transformation. You've gone through some sort of ascension. Possibly even recently you've, you could have leveled up. You could have enhanced your abilities intentionally or unintentionally. This past person did not have some sort of victory. They were not successful in doing something to you or with controlling you. They can't control you. They don't have a victory because you're determined, you're focused, you've gone through a transformation. Maybe you were codependent in the past. I mean, you don't have to be, but even if you were, you've gone through a transformation and that's not your energy. Someone's being cunning. They can't rest because they didn't have a victory over you. So this person can't rest. They're very restless, very anxious. Um, this person is going to come back to you and they're going to be cunning and sneaky. So they still have not changed their ways, whoever this person is. <clears throat> they don't like this energy that you're in, especially this new energy that you have going on. They don't like it. Financial balance is being restored to you. Someone was obsessed with money or they couldn't stop thinking about taking a gift or something of value away from you. 
Someone could have stolen something that you held dear to you. They were trying to steal possibly a new beginning, um, a new home, anything of value. <clears throat> Secrets being exposed. What was done in darkness being brought to light. This could also be an indication of a divine counterpart coming in to help bring financial balance or restore financial balance for you. There could be a union. <clears throat> Scorpio energy could be significant. There could be a union here coming together that's going to help bring financial balance to you. You know, someone wanted you to be left out in the cold. <clears throat> this ex of yours could have left you out in the cold so they could steal something from you, take something from you. Time, money, energy, resources, whatever it is that you hold valuable to you. And they could have also wanted to stop you from getting some sort of gift or stop people from being generous to you. And they rushed in quickly to do some bullshit. They rushed in with some sort of communication. Um, they could have tried to um, rush in with some sort of communication to make a love offer. But it was only to steal something. So they moved quickly. They, they left you out in the cold too quickly. So this is someone who could have abandoned you to make a love offer to somebody else. Because they were a thief. And they were trying to steal from you, possibly rob you or something like that. They left you out in the cold very quickly, abruptly. And they traveled towards somebody else to make them a love offer. They communicated with somebody else. So you're shut off from them energetically when it comes to offering, you know, your emotions, your love or your time. You're manifesting. You're manifesting a true divine union, your divine counterpart. You're not interested in anyone from the past. You're a star. You, you have a divine connection. And your wishes are coming true. And this person is seeing that. That you're able to do this on your, your own without them. And this really bothers them. Their life is not the way they wanted it to be. Or it didn't go as planned. There's an emperor here. Death. Something is over. But there is an emperor here. Your past emperor, whoever that is, if you're a divine femme, um, something is over because they travel towards somebody else to make them a love offer. But you have an emperor here that wants to come towards you with an offer and that's going to help you move on to calmer waters and start a new cycle with you. So the old cycle has been closed out and you're worried about yourself. You're focused on you. But there is a masculine energy here who wants to come towards you and move to calmer waters with you, a divine femme. But this past masculine, um, this cycle is over and closed out because they travel towards somebody else. And now they're going to be in despair. Or they are in despair because you're seen as someone who was held in high honor. And they were meeting up with somebody. So they were communicating and meeting up with somebody else. Whether you knew this or found out about it later. And that cycle is over. But they're still connected to your energy. They're still trying to get into your energy or be connected to you because they want something from you. They like being in control too. So this could be a narcissist and this person can't stand that you rejected them. Maybe they're not used to that. And you're in your queen of swords energy. So you're thinking logical. You're not caught up in your emotions. You know, you're a very honest person. You're just doing what you need to do and you're waiting for your divine counterpart and you could be receiving a message Regarding a treasure, something you hold valuable. Somebody was a queen of wands in the reverse. So somebody was a player. Somebody was in their um, <clears throat> hoe energy. So this past masculine of yours could have ended up hooking up with somebody who was just as non-committal as they were. Because they were meeting up with a queen of wands. Yep, you have a message. You have communication coming in. This person could have also been married. King of Wands. They could have married this person that they cheated on you with. They're in despair because they chose the wrong person. Like I said, they chose someone that's just, just like they are. You know, two peas in a pod. You're protected. Two of Swords energy. You're protected by your ancestors. There's a stalemate when it comes to this situation, though. Um, because this, you're not going to let this person back in your energy. They chose wrong. They could have married this person. And now they're stuck with them. They're stuck with a gold digger, Queen of Pentacles. You have a King of Pentacles. 
that could want to come towards you. This could be your divine counterpart, but they were connected to a gold digger. So the King of Pentacles could be a wealthy masculine. They could have been dealing with a gold digger that they had to separate from. That could be the person that wants to come towards you. They were not an official person. This Queen of Pentacles in the reverse was not an official person. It doesn't have to be the masculine that wants to come towards you, but there is a King of Pentacles here. That was connected to a gold digger. But that could also be the person um, that is your divine counterpart that's going to help bring financial balance back to your situation because they are the king of pentacles. Especially if you suffered financially from whatever relationship this past relationship was. They could have left you out in the cold with nothing. And you're showing up as the high priestess that came out sideways. So you're the high priestess. And the king of pentacles was dealing with someone who was not an official person. Um, they just... They could have just been married to this person for money. And something is being laid to rest. <clears throat> something is not moving. Someone can't travel towards you. The chariot in the reverse... So something is being laid to rest for this high priestess. Maybe you told this person not to come back towards you. Um, your ex, if they showed up, um, if they haven't yet, be cautious. They're going to because um, it did say in the beginning that the past is knocking. But you have laid something to rest or you're going to lay something re to rest regarding this past relationship because of what they did to you. And they may just show up unexpectedly. If they know where you're located, they may just show up unexpectedly, unannounced. They may literally come knocking at your door. Or they may try to send you a message. This person is emotionally unstable. They can't come towards you because they left you out in the cold. They could have ruined your career, got you fired. They could have costed you a significant amount of money with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. You could have lost a job because of them. They were not compassionate towards you. They were in their emotions. They didn't want you to do what you're doing. So if you do something like with spirituality or in the spiritual world, they don't like your gifts. They tried to get you fired. They were trying to block your gifts. They didn't like what you did for work or your life's calling. So the divine has a higher calling. You know, you have a higher calling. This person was pissed off that they couldn't put barriers in your path and that's over. Okay, so they were trying to put barriers in your path, whoever this king of cups is. This unstable masculine energy because you have a new house or you're getting a new house or you're moving. So something got laid to rest when you moved. Or if you move, if this person doesn't know your address or where you live, maybe this person could put barriers in your path and cause you problems um, at a previous residence, but now they can't if you've changed locations or if you're planning on moving or you may need to. No, this person was pissed off because they couldn't keep you stuck and stopped. This person could have been very manipulative and could have been causing problems intentionally so that you would have to move back in with them or take them back after what they did to you. But you ended up getting a house on your own or you're relocating, moving and doing something on your own night of wands. You have some sort of communication coming in. This person may try to reach out to you and communicate or this may be somebody else that's going to communicate or send you a message. There's some sort of information coming your way. What information is this? Something is over because this person caused you heartbreak. So you're going to get some sort of message or information that's going to bring financial balance. The Six of Pentacles, this could have to do with your gifts, your talents, um, your ability to make money here. But there's some sort of information that someone is getting or that you're going to get about financial balance, about your money, about finances. Maybe this is going to help you relocate or get a new place.
I know some of us are on kind of the same timeline. I know I just relocated. I know some of you guys, um, you know, were homeless and stuff like that, you know. Um, so hopefully you guys can get financial balance back in store and get the home that you deserve and that you need. Let's see what else. Let's check these. And my upload speeds on my um, messages and stuff um, are fluctuating a little bit, so it's going to take me a minute to figure out how long it's going to take for my messages to upload. So just bear with me, especially if you get personal readings. I've had a couple requests for personal readings, so just bear with me and just be a little patient as I figure out until I can get Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So. I had one card come up, and I want to see if there's any more before I move on. <clears throat> so you could be attractive. You could be like a civil servant, like a humanitarian. You could do some sort of work out in the community. And someone could be viewing you as attractive or sees you as seductive. Um, but there's someone here who may have darker intentions that you've caught their attention. So you may have been doing some sort of humanitarian work or civil servant, something like that. Um, when you caught the attention of someone who may have darker intentions for you or had darker intentions for you. It may have been surprising to realize that what dark intentions that this person had for you. This could be your ex that wants to come back. They're trying to, I don't know if they want you to unalive yourself. Like this is the kind of person they're trying to steal something from you and take something from you. And maybe they can't get it from you as long as you're alive. Because in Beetlejuice, that girl, she had her wrists cut and um, she unalived herself. So this person could still be trying to be cunning and sneaky because they need you to be unalive. They're trying to take you for a ride to take your treasure. They married someone. They don't want to be married anymore, but they're confused. They're, they're just confused why they can't get this treasure from you or why you're still alive, why you're still breathing. They could have gone out of their way to try to cause physical harm to you. They did some spell work. It backfired. So either them or the person that they were married to did some sort of spell work and it backfired on them. And this person is confused because they were expecting to get some sort of treasure or get something from you. That's like the same as that um, Ace of Wands energy. Someone was trying to take something from you. And they didn't want you to... You couldn't be alive. Like, I'm just getting the energy of you couldn't be alive for them to get it. Maybe this person needed to marry you and, like, I don't know, take some sort of life insurance policy out on you or something. Or this could, maybe this is an ex-spouse of yours. Maybe you were married to this person. But this person, um, like I said, your ex could have married someone that they chose over you that they were communicating and they traveled towards. It's either them or the person that they're married to or even both. They did some sort of spell work or magic and that backfired on them. Someone thinks they have an ace up their sleeve. Someone's winking. So someone's being very sneaky. Someone thinks they have a plan here. They didn't think that you would see them or maybe that you wouldn't feel them in your energy. But they showed their ass when they tried to come back around. They were being sneaky. They're still being sneaky. 
they're still plotting something really dark for you. So if you take this person back, you may not escape with your life a second time or whatever, how many times you ended up with this person. Because there's something significant about you being alive and not being alive and stealing something, taking something from you, whatever that is. You can't be alive for them to get it. I don't know if this has to do with your spiritual gifts or some sort of actual something physical. Someone is lazy. I can, but I won't. Like maybe this person thinks that you're being lazy or being a slacker. But it, it could be you that has something up your sleeve or moving in silence or being sneaky because maybe you have to. Maybe you come across as someone who's unmotivated or lazy, but you're just keeping your shit to yourself. You're not advertising it. Maybe because you know that this person's going to try to come back and somebody, somebody stopped dead in their tracks. If this person was saying that about you, that got stopped dead in its tracks. This person could have talked shit about you and called you lazy and told people that you were close to, that you were a piece of shit, this, that, and the other. If you had, um, like, a regular job when you met this person, they could have tried to get you fired from that job or you could have lost your job. Someone didn't think it was a big deal, big, fat, hairy deal. This person didn't think it was a big deal to show their ass, but they're stopped from coming towards you because you could know that they were talking shit about you, calling you lazy, saying you're unmotivated, but you do things on your time. <clears throat> So this person is a control freak. So this person would be the kind of person that would be like, I want you to do this now, this, that, and the other. And maybe you're the kind of person that just like, um, does things like, you know, like this is giving me the energy of like two different people, like one that's super organized where they would have like a checklist of this, this, this is like a to-do list for the day. And this other person who would just be like, well, I'll do it when I get to it, you know, when my energy tells me. So, like, <laughs> this person is very, like, um, you know, you need to do this by this, this, this. Like, they think that you need that. Like, they feel like you're unstructured or something like that. But you just do things your own way. And this person can't stand it. And they didn't think it was a big deal to show their ass, talk shit about you, call you lazy, and um, cause you problems. But you are protected. You have protection. I've got work on my face in the reverse. So someone lost their job. So maybe they didn't think it was a big deal to cause you to lose your job. But you know it was them. They were connected or they talked shit about you to people you worked with. They could have known someone like one of your supervisors or managers, something like that, or even coworkers. So there could have been rumors going around at work about you that you didn't even know. Or where the information was coming from because you're such a private person that maybe you didn't know how people were getting specific information about you. And come to find out that it was um, your ex, whether it was your significant other, spouse, whatever. It was this person that was spreading these rumors and talking shit about you. They could have even had a workplace affair with somebody that you worked with or somebody that you thought was your friend. Somebody caught a curable STD. They could have even said that you gave this to them as well. So this person could have cheated on you with someone that they worked with or you worked with. And they could have caught a curable STD. They were wasting their time. So they were wasting their time with whoever they were with or whoever they cheated on you with. They were a false prophet, false teacher, that hierophant in the reverse. They're not the real deal. They could have been, um, I'm getting like a bait and switch energy. So if this person was your coworker that this, your ex cheated on you with, um, they could have been trying to copy you, imitate you, mimic you. Um, say if you have some sort of gifts or talents, this can also be your ex that was the false prophet or the false teacher. And you were wasting your time because they were out sleeping with other people and they could have caught a curable STD. So however it resonates to your situation, um, they were hiding their true personality. Thank God I'm an atheist. So this person was hiding who they really are. This person's a wannabe. They don't have your spiritual gifts. They could be very jealous of you. And because they don't have them, they don't believe that they exist. So they want you to stop doing what you're doing because they thought you were a faker or a fraud or something like that. 
They were trying to prove that what you did was a fake or a fraud. You didn't marry them or this is someone that you were married to or they entered into a deal or a marriage with somebody else. Contract deal, marriage in the reverse. So this person could have tried to get you to marry them or you were married to this person. Like I said, they could have married this other person. Someone's acting immature and childish. That's in the upright. So they are still acting immature and childish. They're trying to hold you back. What's holding you back? They want you to feel like you're holding yourself back, but it was actually them sabotaging you like the entire time, especially at work. They hired someone to spy on you. So they had spies watching you. Your soulmate in the reverse. So you had some sort of soul connection or soul tie or they want you to feel like you do. Yeah, they want you to feel like you have a connection. They still are trying to connect to you. We have a connection. I would punch you, but you, um, you're you not interested. Like You could actually feel like you would punch this person if they were next to you. Someone knows the truth in the reverse. They didn't want you to know the truth. They moved on from you. It's over. So you moved on from this person because you knew that they were screwing around on you and they were not being faithful to you. And they were trying to hide the truth that they moved on from you, but they don't want you to know that. You're innocent. They slept with someone that you know. They said it felt like love at first sight or they feel they're going to tell you that. So they could come back to you saying that they're innocent. They didn't do this. They didn't cheat on you. They, they're going to gaslight the shit out of you. They're going to tell you that it was love at first sight. They fucked up. They miss you. Pay attention to your health. They're trying to make sure that you're not alive for some reason. So um, they could be trying to affect your health in a negative way, especially your mental health. Send someone to pick us up, different vehicles in the reverse. So someone was switching vehicles, driving different cars, having friends pick them up. Uh, meeting at secret locations so people wouldn't catch on to them or so that you wouldn't catch on to them. They didn't help you when you needed them. They ghosted you. They left you out in the cold and you didn't know why. There's a lot of unanswered questions as to what happened. They're trying to cover this up. A bald spot's hard to cover up. You already know the truth though. You're driving me crazy. I can't stop thinking about you. This person can't stop obsessing about you or thinking about you or thinking what they can get from you. You were scammed by thieves in the reverse. This person was a thief. And they ended up being scammed by someone who's just as bad as they are. That gold digger energy. And that person who is non-committal just like they are. I just heard it sucks to be you. So, yeah, I'm... This one tried to come out, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. Something significant significant could be happening in the next 24 to 48 hours. Mm, someone's going to get an 11th hour Hail Mary pass. The law is going to be involved. So someone could be getting a visit from the law or there's something significant about law enforcement within the next 24 to 48 hours. <clears throat> Someone could be asking for mercy or begging for mercy because they could be getting arrested. Something is a dog and pony show and eating your words. So this person who is trying to take you for a ride put it on a dog and pony show. They broke the law in some sort of way and they're going to have to eat their words um, and they could be getting arrested. They could be trying to call you to bail them out of jail. M, N, O, or P could be significant. You or them. That one was blank. Anything else before I move on? Someone's a loose cannon. This person's going to lose their shit. Someone's going to lose their shit in the next 24 hours. Oh, God. Be careful. You have the wisdom of the ages. Use it. You're smart. You have the wisdom. Use your intelligence. So 
Someone is going to find out that they can't find you or locate you or something. I don't know. They're going to do something really shady. Use your smart. Um, use your intelligence. This person couldn't weather the storm. They can't weather the storm for what, what's about to happen. Judgment has been called on them. So they, something in the morning time or afternoon, weather the storm. Someone can't weather the storm. So something about afternoon, nighttime, someone's scared stiff and they're going to lose their temper, lose their head. I'm telling you, lose cannon, lose your temper, lose your head. Someone's scared. They're afraid. They're going to do something really bad. Like, and I feel like they're going to get caught. They could have done something in the winter time with a Taurus. Or this could be a Taurus. They struck out. They did something too many times. So, three strikes, you're out in the winter time. So, they did something too many times in the winter time. Could land them in jail. They're hitting the panic button. Jail and panic button keeps coming out on top in a group of people. A Leo could be significant. Someone was a coward. There's a wolf at your door. Be careful. Someone is going to show up at your house unannounced or something like that. They played for the other team. So this could mean someone was bisexual or someone was your op. They were working against you. This person couldn't be trusted. You could never trust them. No time like the present. So in the past, this person was your op. They still are. You're going to have some sort of victory. Someone's going to take their shot in the dark. And this could be you taking your shot in the dark to have a clean slate, a new beginning. You don't want this person. And it makes them sad. There's something significant about letting the cat out of the bag Friday and April. So someone's birthday could be in April or something significant happened in April or is going to happen in April. Someone didn't want to read between the lines, but they're slippery as an eel. So someone didn't read the fine print or read between the lines when it came to dealing with you and your protection. They didn't realize how protected you are, that your spirituality is not fake, that you are not a fraud. <clears throat> and this person is still being slippery as an eel. There's something significant about Friday. This person, something is going to happen in the nick of time for you. Every dog has its days in the reverse and wake up call in the reverse. This person didn't get their wake up call. They didn't want to hear it. They just wanted to win at all costs, like father, like son, spinning your wheels. So this is a masculine energy who could be the father of your child or a father figure um, who's stuck spinning their wheels because something isn't working out the way they thought it was. Something happened just in time for you. This could be with a housing situation. Um, like I said, you moved, you could relocate, you could need to, to get away from this person. Um, just be careful. Um, I just heard they have a way of finding you. So just be careful. Keep your wits about you. Use your intelligence. There's definitely something significant about the next 24 to 48 hours and especially Friday for some of you. So I hope this helps bring some clarity to your situation. Let's get a few letters. Person, place, or thing. The letter T, F, the fuck, I just heard the fuck, mm. V, I, mm, I just heard a video, there's some sort of video, B, R Another R Burr Someone's getting left out in the cold indefinitely Z T 
tea again. Do two more. N. TNT. Something's about to blow up when someone gets left out in the cold. J. Actually, I'll do one more. I'll make it even. And Y. So I have T-N-J-Y-T-F-V-I-B-R-R-Z. I hope this helps. Have a good day.